What up, YouTube? Asia Persuasion here. Here with my boy Slim. You already know. Here at YCS Niagara Falls, and we're here with top eight duelists, Mr. Luke Parks, across from the pond. And we're also here with uh, Jordan Gallagher. Yeah. Top 16. Top 16. And you guys are playing the same list, pretty much? Yeah, uh, yeah. We two played cards, two cards decks. different. Yeah. Two card difference. Uh, Exact yeah. same side deck, exact same actually, like just two cards on the main deck a little bit different. Fair. And like, we also topped Hartford with pretty much the identical. Exact same deck. We played the, Hartford, yeah. we played the exact same deck except for one card. Oh. And then so. Euros was also like two cards, yeah. we both topped that yeah. with like... Oh, nice. Alice, like we, we can never quite agree yeah. on the exact list, but we always get pretty close. Agree to disagree, so, yeah. it works. Um, yeah, obviously shout out to Jobba, best team. Um, Hi Jesse. Jesse's the best. Um, yeah, check out the links yeah, in the description, yeah, etc. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you got any shoutouts too? Yeah. Um, you guys can do your shoutouts. Jobber, I guess. I think I just joined, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah. happy days. Oh, happy days. <laughs> We've got a new recruit, another European. Love uh, shout out to Team Kish, uh, which is like our group chat at home. Uh, Omar, Jawad, Vlad, Nadia, Darren. He's not in my videos, but he's right here. Hi, Vlad. All the Europeans. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so we played Tier. We just thought it was the best deck, which... I mean, it was three of the top four. Um, I lost to X Sister in top eight, and that was because I misplayed. Um, it was a good call for him, obviously, but like, I just didn't know what the cards did. But yeah, we we'll just get into the list. It was pretty Let's standard. Uh, we played twelve tiers, no, um, which is just the normal. Uh, we played the dangers. We didn't play any punks because they're kind of bricky. Um, like Italy is amazing, but Foxy Tune is not that good, and the other one isn't great. Um, this wasn't three in Euros, but like the mirror is more popular now, so it's kind of yikes. Uh, I played Chupacabra because I wanted enough fours to make sure I could like always get to Dweller. Um, so I didn't want to cut down on too many level four dangers. Also, it being able to bring back Bigfoot for Eradicator and things like that is kind of nice. Um, you didn't play Chupacabra. Yeah, uh, um, I, I played one less danger than Luke. Um, I felt the danger count was fine without the um, chose to play a different tech choice that Luke uh, didn't really like, but um, yeah. the, the rest of it was fine. The Bigfoot was really good for me. Yeah, the Bigfoot was insane Out of rivalry a few times, that card was <laughs> nice. Uh, we also side Dynamiscus, and I managed to like, Dynamiscus, banish a guy, pop his floodgate, and then I killed him next time. So, that was nice. Yeah, it is nice. Um, then we played like, for the Good Mills, Zephyros, Gizmek, Destrudo, and Snow. Um, Gizmek was like insane. Yeah. Uh, like it's just so it just applies so much pressure against Sprite, and um, you can like just summon it before they resolve Gigantic, and then like they have to just like either smashes on their turn or leave it, and it gets a bit awkward, and like it makes Zeroboros like huge. So. Yeah, against Runic Sprite, like my opponent had to like waste so many cards on it. Like he had to like waste the Runic spell on it. I had summoned it during his turn, so I just summoned it again, and then he toted it. It was like it just burned two cards on its own. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I think we'd probably play a second one over the Destrudo. Yeah, saying, I maybe. think we. I think we'd probably play a second one of this over Destrudo. Um, it was just ridiculous. Um, there was one game in Swiss where I played against Mathmech, and um, he did Mathmech things. Um, had the trap that targets to destroy, and the one that summons back. He did the summon back. It didn't really make a difference, but. I uh, I'd gizmeked on his thing because I milled it with Havnus and I managed to make like Elf and then an Appaloosa for four under the Elf so I didn't lose to Nib <laughs> and then a uh, Zeroboros that was on like 14,000 attack Jeez, because yeah. I used Snow, I like gizmeked on his turn and my turn and then Snow chained it to itself twice to wow. banish 21 cards and then attacked over his uh, Heat Soul that he paid 2,000 with for like 10,000 yeah. damage Jeez, and that was probably the most fun thing I did but yeah. So all of this is pretty, I mean, yeah, it's still pretty good. I think Zephyros is needed in this version because you just, bouncing the dangers is nice and like, even like post turn one, if you mill it and you have like the field spell, you can bounce the field spell and then play the field spell again. It gives a lot of pressure. It's like a level four. We were pretty like heads up on the, we wanted to make Dweller in the mirror. So we wanted enough level fours. We just blinded Dweller in every matchup because we don't play reader. So you just kind of yeah. blind Dweller and if it's the mirror, you just got to, you got a free little win. And against Sprite, it's fine. It stops the Ronin Toten yeah. anyway. So you just blind it and then it wins you so many mirror matches. And then we played the Branded in High Spirits and Albion, which is like the got popularized at Oceanics. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, it was it was really good for me. Like just milling this turn one, and then being able like even if you don't draw it, you mill it, and then you just get another free card back. And like they try and push into your board, and you're just like constantly like recycling this. Um, it was pretty good for me. It also like it's really good if you like draw the field spell and stuff like that, because then you're like you set it, and it's an actual interruption because you just get to like summon a Stapelia in their turn with this by like triggering a tier element, and then you get a field spell to pop. Yeah. So it was it was really good for me. Um, yeah, it would have been, it could have been Desires and played a few less cards, but I, I preferred this. I also like the fact that I never banished the Snow of Desires because I didn't play it. But, um, yeah, and then we played Terraforming, uh, three Pearl Arena, and I played a Mystic Mine. Um, obviously, Mystic Mine, everyone should be super prepared for this, which is fine, but like, it was more of a, it gave me an extra going second card where in the mirror, if they didn't have the immediate out, I could have a turn where I just go pass. Then they pass back to me, and then because they didn't have the immediate out, I can then play without being Underdweller um, and try and like resolve a Zeroboros to banish the field um, and then set up my own Dweller. And it kind of like in theory, it should have been good. I only drew it once going second in a mirror, and he immediately had the Dynamiscus for a game one. So uh, I sided it out every game two and three, but it was just like it just gave me two extra going second cards in like Terraforming a Mystic Line. Well, you didn't play this. Yeah, that's the only other difference in our deck. So uh, he played the Mystic Mine and the Chupacabra. Um, and I, I just put, I put the Jet Smashers that uh, Jesse popularized and Gordon also played uh, the Oceanics. Just for, against the Sprite matchups, just Dark stealing blue and getting a free Jet search for Smashers is just an, an extra layer and drop them, uh, like an extra push into the board as well. And then just like, even in general, just if we're going for the Eradicator play, it's just a good thing to summon off the Gigantic to add the Smashers and then just eradicate the Gigantic anyway. Um, so I thought it was okay. Um, I did play six mirror matches, so it didn't come up as much as I thought it would. Um, only four Sprite, but in the four Sprite, it was really good in all those matchups. And, and yeah, I two-old all my Sprite opponents. It was like, except from my, my one loss. Um, yeah, it, it was really good in the Sprite matchups. Um, I don't regret it. Yeah, I mean, I don't regret not playing it because I two-old most of my sprites and two I won two one against the other one so like I just felt like they would always smash it either we either swap frog bounce the blue to their hand to play because like I thought people would just Jesse released his list Bowden released the list they were both playing it like I thought they'd either flip smashes banishing their blue from graveyard for cost then like I'm never getting full value off it half the time you mill the stuff and whenever you draw it you're just just a brick yeah. but like I mean it, it is obviously good but like I just didn't want to play it I, yeah uh, and then last spell cards are uh, Instant Fusion and uh, three Super Boy. Um, we didn't play Dark Ruler. Uh, we just thought the mirror was going to be too popular for Dark Ruler. Like, they're just going to stand by face Dweller you and then there's nothing you can do about it. Um, so it's obvious Dark Ruler is really good against Sprite. But post side it gets worse because like, I got anti spelled a lot against Sprite uh, post side. And like it was it got like mildly worse post side. So we just decided not to play. Um, Dark Ruler, like anywhere. Yeah. I don't regret it at all. Um, no, I played like a lot of mirrors, and all my sprite opponents were like, all my sprite matchups are one. It's just really so, good like, in any mirror match where your opponent knows what they're doing. Like, yeah, none of yeah. like, they, it stopped, it would maybe like stop one of their interrupts, but it's not enough. And if yeah. you're under Dweller, it's never enough. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, we didn't really like Dark Ruler. We played three Sulik. Mm. Um, so we still don't play any Noise. Um, <laughs> so while when I first read that card, I was like, oh, this is really yeah. good. But yeah. then, like, a week later, like it's just not been in my deck at all. Um, yeah, like have like we didn't think talents would be popular anymore. Uh, we feel, I feel like that's like fallen off quite a lot. Um, but Havnus has so many good hits now. Like Destrudo, um, Snow, like three of this. Um, any tier name. Yeah, yeah any tier name. Gizmek. It was, so we were just I was Havnusing every time game one going second. I didn't care. Right. I'm drawing this is fine as well because yeah. it makes this a much better mill as well. You, summoning this by discarding this is just crazy advantage. Yeah, it was it was wildly good. And like a lot of the time, even if you get hand trapped a few times, if you have this and a tier on board, like Sprite's not beating that. Yeah. So, uh, and then the other going second guards were Imperm. Uh, we were debating Imperm on Nib, but we thought Sprite would be popular enough where we didn't want to play Nib in the main. Um, Imperm was really good for me. So. Yeah. It stopped people from making Toad a reasonable amount of time when I imprinted the Elf. And then the last card was Eradicator. Uh, we're playing the Curious Griffin, so there's not much to say. You just tribute. Like, we, we've, I played Gigantic, even though I didn't play Jet Smashers, just because it's a 3200 target. Um, but yeah, it was, it was fine. 
Hell yeah, eradicator for game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Get rid of the power spells. Um, extra deck. We play two Kekalos. I, I'm pretty sure this is just mandatory. Yeah, you have to. Like, we were just debating going to one, but I just don't think if it's If you ever possible. get smashers or like, yeah, you just want to die. You, you, would, you, would, you would never, you would put it right back in your extra deck ever. Like, yeah. it, you just lose if they smash it and you play one. Yeah. Uh, we obviously play one of the Collider Heart. Uh, Mud Dragon for Super Poly and just to make a level 4 water for Dweller. Uh, Garura for the same sort of thing. This this card's insane. Like, Should have printed it. Yeah, like, the <laughs> fact that, like, it just comes up in like every turn of combo. You're like, oh yeah, I want to wing Beast for Curious and I'll just draw an extra card. Mm. Great. Happy days. Uh, we played D3S Frog for uh, the High Spirits because there's literally no other Aqua. <laughs> 2500 attack or defense except there's a new uh, there's a new terror element card that comes out in the next set so it'll get replaced because that has an actual effect and you can actually summon it because i'm pretty sure this is like three ronin toad yeah, three something. death frogs okay. Jesus. and ronin counts as death frog yeah and then the last one was the Pelia. you just don't need more than one of this it never comes up like yeah. it comes up against sprite when you make half boards um and like paolo played like the deck with 19 hand traps um which is like obviously very good he played it at rio um, but we figured out like if you just don't fully commit against that deck and make a half board of like this a tier element and the trap, he doesn't play any extenders, so he just can't be it. Yeah. Uh, then Frexies, Gigantic, and Dweller. Obviously, your Gigantic was way better for you because you played Jet Smashers, yeah. so you could actually summon something off it. I never summoned this. I always just had er ended up like eradicating in a way like a one of uh, Stapelia. Yeah. But yeah, I mean. I don't, I don't know if I cut it because I didn't miss anything, but yeah. Uh, then Lynx, Dark, obviously Elf, this card's ridiculous. Um, curious, this card's also ridiculous. <laughs> uh, we played Griffin for the combo. Um, this card is so oppressive. Like, the fact that like you eradicate them for spells and then they have to like chain starter and they just can't use the effect of the thing they summon. <laughs> like, you're just funny. like, this is just ridiculous. Like, I forget like how good, like, the fact that this doesn't just set something from your graveyard, you're just like, you just can't activate effect, sorry. Yeah. Um, and then the last two Link 4s were Zeroboros and Appalooza. Uh, we assumed Nip was going to be more popular, which it was, and people don't expect people to be playing this. Um, yeah, everyone so they has just got it. They just wait till you end your main phase and yeah. then they nib you. So you just, if you know you're playing the mirror, you're just like, make Dweller, and then you link your Curious into this instead of doing the Griffin combo, and they just lose. They, they die. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I think you have to play this going forward, but like, this obviously gets worse going forward because everyone will just nib you before you can make this. Yeah. Um, but then you get to add back up Curious, so it's like, eh, it's not great. Uh, side deck, three cherries. This was so good against Sprite. So broken. <laughs> um, it was good in the mirror, but it was so good against Sprite because if you Reaper Elf, they just can't play. Like, they, they make a board, and then you kill it, and, and then over. they can't do anything ever again. No Um <laughs> So it was ridiculous for me. Um, yeah, I drew it in the mirror once. I Reapered his Dweller, and then I killed him. Uh, that was nice. Um, yeah, other than that, it was like, it was just good. Uh, three nib for the mirror. So he's added all of those in the mirror. Uh, Pank, uh, two Cosmic, and two Dynamiscus. Originally this was like three Cosmic and a red reboot, but I was kind of scared of uh, Curse Seal of Forbidden Spell. And then like, I would only have Eradicator and this as an out, and I'm like, well, that's like, this is harder to set up, it could get milled. So this is the only thing I can draw and it instantly be an out. I don't want it to get Curse Sealed, so we played like two and two. This yeah. also gave us like, another good card going first, cause you just like, you get to fusion summon on their turn and banish. Um, this was also really good. I managed to Reaper one of my opponents Gigantic so he couldn't red resonate me. That was nice. Ooh, yeah, he tried to win. Uh, he wanted to win in time and then he had to pass and I killed him. <laughs> um, and then three deck Devastation Virus. Uh, this was something that I was like mega set on. I was like, I am absolutely playing deck dev. Uh, because if you get hand trap post side, or when you get hand trap post side against Sprite, if you just deck dev them, that's just like any hand trap that they haven't used is gone and like their entire hand is usually just gone yeah and then the last uh card was a garvey dragon i actually just never went to I time didn't do it once. Yeah. Yeah, just like, one you just had yeah. to have it though 45 minutes was like 
more than enough. enough. So like the extra five minutes like really helped for me anyway. I know it's like it's still not ideal. One of my um, losses was to the mirror match, and he did send the ladybug and gain a thousand. But yeah, yeah. I never personally had to do it. Yeah, neither did I. So that was great, uh, and I literally like never went to time. I don't think yeah. I either lost or won before, so that was happy days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that was it. Um, that was really good. I went X1 in Swiss. My loss was a mirror. And then I lost the ex sister in top eight. So. The guy that eventually won though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that guy won, so I crossed the hand. He won, he won. Raymond won. Smashed it. Yeah. Yeah, shout out to Jobber. Shout out to Keish, Testing Triangle. Yeah. Yeah, same shout out to Keish, Jobber, and Waf, Testing Discord. Perfect. Congrats on you guys' top, and thanks for decorating. Thanks for decorating, guys. Thank you.